Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now at this point, Andrea, when the screen goes black again, Andrea is sharing about the difference between the lasting effects of watching your favorite t TV programs and the lasting effects of God's Word and how we always want the junk above the substance. But the Bible can make you laugh, it can make you cry, it can strengthen you, it can lift you up, it can speak into you. And these things do last when you close that book. This stuff will help you get through your life. It's more instantly It's the television and the music. Now, it's hard. Somebody's making noise in the background. Sorry about that. But she said that with the TV, it's instant gratification. It's fun. It's like an imitation joy. But the Bible, it feeds your soul. It ministers to you. All right. That's in essence what she was saying. Now... Hang on, because the sound will go away in a second. Friend, every time, when you're on your deathbed, especially as a Christian, you're going to wish you read your Bible more. You're going to wish you spent more time with God. Not, oh man, I wish I would have went to that party back in 96. <laughs> what? No. I wish I would have finished that last season of your television show. You're not even thinking about that. That stuff's not important. But anyway, I look at I look at it like, here you go to McDonald's, you go to Jack in the Box, you go to the Pizza Hut, you go to all these different places, you go to the uh, the uh, the Cheesecake Factory, you get all these goodies, and you pig out on that for two or three months in a row. Oh, this is so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so chocolate. Oh, they fried that to a crisp. Oh, I love the way it feels. Oh, it's so good. But somebody takes you and puts you on a vegetarian cleanse. You don't like that. Vegetables are not fun. Nutritional foods are not fun. All that other stuff is fun. It just, oh, woo, it just makes your taste buds dance and sizzle. But then you go to the doctor. You go to the doctor after you've eaten all the junk food, and they're checking stuff off, and you've got high blood pressure and diabetes, and you got you got gout, and you got this, you got that, you got uh, cholesterol, plaque in your blood, you got all kind of crap going on. Fat on your liver. You turn around, you go through the cleanse, which you hate, and you go to the doctor after the cleanse, and you're taking nutrition, you're taking supplements, you're doing all that. You get a blood test and everything is perfect right where it should be. Now, here's the thing. It is way more fun to the flesh to have the instant gratification. That includes sin. But I'm using the food as an example. You know me, I'm an analogy. Okay? You know, you get the, the, the joy from the taste buds. You eat all the chocolate and the icing and you eat the cookies, the Oreo cookies and the Lay's potato chips and you're just, woo! I'm in seventh heaven. No, baby, you're in straight to hell physically. Why? Now, I'm going to stop right there real quick because the point of it is Everything that pertains to God renders life. Everything that pertains to the flesh has a deadly consequence. We just don't see it because it feels good. It tastes good. It's tentilating. It's enticing. It's seductive. It's addictive. Ooh, child. And we don't realize that we are slowly dying from the nonsense we are filling our lives with. When God has true life, true love, true, true joy, true everything, but we prefer the artificial, like the processed foods at the fast food joint, because the taste is so much more exciting. Yet, it is deadly in the long run. I'm stopping there. God bless you as you chew on that one.